All right, so you've all heard the saying, your face says it all. Well, according to researchers, that is in fact true. A UK startup is now claiming to have pioneered the use of artificial intelligence technology to reveal whether or not you're lying. The new tech reveals hidden emotions and reactions of any suspect, all by reading these small micro expressions in the face. Already, the company has contacted authorities in India and the UK for public use. Joining us to discuss on whether or not we can see that practice coming worldwide, we're joined now by legal and media analyst Lionel of Lionel Media. Lionel, my friend, your head is already shaking. Uh, tell me, why, why are you shaking your head? And if you can tell us about you know, I don't know, courts and, and if they can determine when technology is supposed to be used? There are some times when there is a number, an actual amount that must be determined for criminal prosecutions. Blood alcohol levels, okay. the identification and the location of drugs, is this cocaine? What is your blood alcohol level? That's great. Machines, machinery, we love it because, because the crime is the detection of that particular number amount, whatever okay. it is. Okay. Now, what happens is, this is gonna be sold as follows, just like the polygraph was. Not dispositive, but as a tool, just a tool, Manila, for the police uh, and prosecutors okay. to get an idea of who's lying and who's being deceptive because of micro, uh, micro uh, 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 expressions. grimaces and the like. <laughs> yes, indeed. Well, we got microaggressions, micro expressions, a lot of micros going on. Okay, now, what's interesting is that, as you know, it is our natural human behavior to go a little step further and yeah. perhaps one day I fear, I dread, I dread this and notice the dread that one day this will replace the human involvement element. Juries, grand juries, judges, the way our system was designed where human beings listen to the evidence, listen to the probable cause or reasonable doubt, and they make the determination. That's what I fear, and that's where it's headed. Okay, you, you and I comment. have talked about that slippery slope, that if you remove humans from this, I mean, you, if I've learned anything from you in, in all these years, uh, you've told me that, that courts, you know, like you just mentioned, they, they use... Um, you know, blood alcohol detection or what have you, the use of technology there. But currently, they still, they refuse polygraphs and, and lie detectors, right? They have been trying for the longest time. You have no idea whenever there's the newest form, even going back to the DUI case. Certain jurisdictions will do horizontal gaze nystagmus and all these weird, they love tests. They love, <laughs> it. and this is just a pen. This is just a cop on the side of the road. But if I have something that has AI, and I put something just like this, if I present this in front of Prosecutors and cops are going to say, well, it must work. Why? Well, look at this thing. And they've got tests yeah. and they've got prosecutors. Here is the problem, which was the most frightening. There is something, though, that eventually is going to overwhelm us, and that is this avalanche of, of information. Manila, we have predictive programming, minority report, yes. algorithms, fit, ways to determine by virtue of the weather, uh, who's who, uh, uh, economic strata, different data. We'll be able to figure out probable cause. One of these days, my fear is we're going to have everything basically done here. The jury, the probable yeah. cause, arrest affidavits, no human element. We're already seeing it in courts well, what right happens, now. Then? We're judges. What happens yes, if we replace humans? What happens if the judge's wisdom or experience is thrown out the window for tech? We're doing it right now with sentencing guidelines. We're doing yep. it right now with three yeah, strikes, you're out. We're doing all of these draconian, we're doing this with minimum mandatory sentences. Every time you take away this human element, look, I want a jury. Remember the old joke, we always say, jurors are 12 stupid people that can't get off jury duty. Sure. Let me tell you something, I would put my life on the line for these people. They show an incredible intuition. The same with cops. Manila, cops with experience who know things, things that cannot be figured out. And by the way, when you talk about d gauging somebody's deception, lies, yeah, veracity, yeah. deception, there are people by virtue of a variety of factors, intoxication, affects. Some people just walk around, you just go anywhere. Yeah, yeah. There is this <clears throat> tremendous spectrum of some people are just, they are absolutely flat Stone affect. Other well, people ben, are more. Well, 
I, can, can I bring up one thing, Lionel? I, I don't mean to make too much no. light of this, but uh, you no. know, everybody yes. uses Botox nowadays. What do you do when a man or woman don't make facial expressions because their face is full of Botox? What about or people who can't because their whole trigeminal nerve has been frozen by or a that. series of this? The bottom line is simply this. This is great as maybe a tool, perhaps maybe something to, to assist, but we can never, ever remove human interaction as a dispositive aspect of guilt okay. and innocence in our criminal justice system. That's it. Lionel is not for AI in our courts, I see. And we learn a thing or two. Very always. good. <laughs> Lionel, Very good. You Lionel, up Lionel on Media, that one. always appreciate your expertise, my friend. Thank you. You are good. Hey, YouTube, thanks for checking out our channel. We hope you enjoyed the video. We have tons of content for you just like this. For more of RT America's one of a kind news and analysis, be sure to subscribe and never stop questioning more.